Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Facebook, and welcome to a special ed veterans edition of Scan FYI. I'm Andrea, I'm the program director. Good morning, everyone. I'm Mary Beth Kwapniewski. I'm the program coordinator at Scan. Um, today, again, as Andrea mentioned, it's we're going to celebrate Veterans Day. We have a special guest, um, Senator Vin Gopal. So, good morning, Senator Gopal. How are you? Good morning, morning Mary Beth, Andrea. Good to see you both. Good. Um, so, uh, among your many duties as a senator, one of the things that you are responsible for is your chairman of the Military and Veterans Affairs Committee. So, could you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. First, I, I want to wish uh, everyone a Happy Veterans Day. Um, you know, Happy Veterans Day. Let's toast all our veterans. I, uh, we, our veterans just do uh, an incredible job each and every day, not just after they've served our country, but even afterwards, uh, as far as looking after their fellow veterans and their families and the extraordinary sacrifice uh, that their families did while, while uh, their loved ones served our country and even after. So, um, you know, the state of New Jersey, we try to do as much as possible for our veterans. Uh, veterans Day is a time for, you know, all Americans, not just to feel pride for our heroes who have selflessly protected all of us, um, but uh, really to make sure that we honor them and recognize them and thank them. Um, so this is a, a really important day and it should be a day that really shouldn't be partisan. It should really be about unity. It should be uh, about making sure that we're all together, that we're all thankful and that we're all uh, supportive of our veteran community. You know, I wanna share a little piece of trivia that I probably learned about this in school, but I didn't really think about it. No, Veterans Day is November 11th because World War II, World War One, sorry, armistice was signed on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, and somehow I didn't really put that together. But 11, 11, 11. So that's where it comes from. So that's your trivia for today. And you know, there's about nine million veterans over the age of six, of 65, and about 1.6 million veterans are women. So lots and lots of veterans out there that we need to be very grateful for, as you said. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, you are also a member of the Health, Human Services, and Senior Citizens Committee. And of course, uh, anyone who knows anything about SCAN knows that our, our, you know, we, we kind of work with seniors. That, that's our, our main thing. And so... I noticed that there is something out there called the Senior Freeze Program. And I wonder if you could talk about that, Senator Gopal, in case people don't realize what it is. Sure. So the Senior Freeze, you know, essentially freezes your, your property taxes if, you're a, if you are a senior. Um, the deadline to apply has been extended to December 31st of this year. Uh, please, you know, reach out to uh, our office, if you're a senior and have any questions, um, it's just sendgopal at njledge.org or 732-695-3371. Uh, applicants must follow uh, the following requirements. You or your spouse uh, were 65 or older on December 31st of 2018 uh, or were receiving federal social security disability benefits on or before December 31st of 2018, approximately two years ago. And you have lived in New Jersey continuously since December 31st of 2008, uh, about 12 years ago, uh, either as a homeowner or a renter. Um, you could also be a mobile homeowner. Um, so if, if in 2018, your total annual income is $89,000 and change, 89,013 to be exact or less, or in 2019, you were $91,505 or less. Uh, there's a lot of things in the weeds here, um, depending on the number, there's a formula, but reach out to our office and we'd be happy to walk you through it. It's actually one of the most common constituent uh, issues that we work on is helping seniors with their senior freeze applications. And we'll put all the contact information out there so you don't have to worry about memorizing it. So Senator Gopal, when, you, when, it says, when you say you're freezing the, the, the tax rate, are you saying it's just preventing you from getting an increase? Correct. Okay. All right, Correct. well, anytime people can save money, 
That's a good thing. Yeah, and especially for seniors that are often on fixed budgets, it really allows them to budget for their future. Are there any other uh, resources out there for seniors that you just want to make people aware of that we can share? Sure. The, there are, please reach out to our Senate office because the state of New Jersey does have a number of uh, senior services, whether it relates to housing, uh, affordable housing, or health and wellness, or different programs. Um, there's a lot of different things out there, uh, as, as a, um, from, from free tax information to uh, automobile insurance policy information to medication and pharmaceutical health. There's a lot of programs. So just, just reach out to our office and we'll be happy to walk you through any of those. Okay. And I will also put a link in the Facebook comments if anybody wants to get it from there. And we'll put all the contact info so you can reach out to Senator Gopal's office. And Senator Gopal, what about anything specific for our veterans? Any programs that they should be aware of and contact places? Yeah, that's a great question. There's a lot of things we're doing for veterans. Um, <laughs> Uh, we just passed, New Jersey just passed overwhelmingly by a four to one margin. It was question two on the ballot, uh, which will help more than 57,000 more veterans eligible for their property taxes. This is after last year where we passed, uh, this is, was a $250 uh, property tax credit for all veterans uh, who, who served during, who not just served during wartime. So prior, previously, prior to this year, you could only get the tax credit if you served during wartime. We extended that $250 property tax credit to all veterans, uh, whether you served in war or peace, uh, veterans and their families, you know, uh, depending on, on the time period. Last year, we, we passed a similar property tax credit on the ballot, which also passed overwhelmingly to help those veterans who live the continuing care facilities, the biggest one in our area being Seabrook uh, in Titton Falls. We also have Applewood in in, uh, in Freehold Township. So many of those veterans were not eligible for those $250. So as a result of that, that, that uh, is happening. Um, we've also passed a number of uh, uh, bills, including the Global War on Terrorism Bill uh, that, to help veterans out uh, for veteran uh, civil service mm -hmm. hiring preference uh, mm -hmm. to make sure that veteran owned small businesses and contractors are getting uh, uh, every opportunity possible when they're applying for government grants. Um, there's a number of different veterans bills that, that we've been trying to look at, but we're always, you know, we always love, a lot of these bills come from veterans themselves who live in our district. So we'd always love to hear from our veterans on, on what, what they think we can do to help make, the, make life a little better. Fabulous, really, really. And if they have any suggestions, they should get in touch with your office, I would assume. Yeah, uh, it's actually how we probably come up with 98% of our bills is usually a constituent will say, hey, this isn't working or this could be better. What do you think of this idea? And then uh, that's what we'll work off of. Good. Okay, well, let's one final uh, coffee toast to all the veterans out there. And we, we salute you and we thank you for your service. Uh, Senator Gopal, thank you for being our guest today. Thank you so much for having me. Okay. Remember everyone, if it's important to you, it's important to us. I'm Andrea Tarr, and we'll see you next time on Scan FYI. Bye everyone. Bye everyone. Bye.